Hey, did you check this out? What do you got down here? Oh! No, we're a little tight on powder coat right here. I got rollers on. So, even, so even Kenneth better. Abbott from Race Jack Solutions called me one or top rest out to me one day. He goes, Man, you don't have Pro Jacks? I said, Yeah, I got Pro Jacks. He used them, never used them. I said, Well, the ones I had were the Pro Jack brand. They were a uh, chassis shop made them. And they lifted the car, but. I believe when Monty delivered them to me, he lost some of the bushings and stuff, so it had to slide across the frame. And anyway, well, last time we had them up on it, one of the legs folded over, so we just put used Jackson Jackson in. But he told me, he said, maybe I'll try a set of mine. Mine work really good. We fix and find out. Now, you guys see this raggedy ass pump. This is the same pump I had, because there wasn't no point in me buying another pump. But, they are nice because they got the handle. See the handle, Stace? Let's get down here we can check it out. Yep. Uh, hey, Stace, grab that handle and pull it. Brantley, pull that handle this way a little bit. Towards me. Hard. Yep. Ah, uh, too far. Back the other way a little bit. Right there. All right. Mr. Abbott, we'll see how good you, they actually work. Right back over. Perfect. There we go. Had to right. do a little adjustment. You might repeat that because the good old air compressor likes to kick in when you're trying to say something important. It did what? The good old air compressor kicks in and nobody can hear you. Oh, so they got the little tabs right here for the for the safeties. Yeah. Well it hits the wishbone. Oh. So, put a little pressure on. Tap, tap. Weep. Minor modification. Minor modification. And perfection. What do you think about them? I think they're great. I think they're a little higher than what you have before. They are. So, I like that. They are higher. I like that. So. Well, oh. Hang on. Go 
Go ahead and mark those. Hmm? Go ahead and mark those. What? Oh, that too. I didn't know if don't, you were... I don't, Yeah, I don't need no Opie. I don't need to do no advertising for Opie. I didn't know if you were going there or no. I didn't get it on camera. Huh? I didn't know if you were going any further than the Jack deal or not. No, but I'm going to put a New York Racecraft sticker here. Uh-huh. That'll look good. Yeah. But what do you think? Pretty think cool, it, huh? This looks great. What do you think about a new Momo? I like it. I like it a lot. So our whole combination now is changed. Everything's changed. Now I switched it to Headhunter Heads because it was pushing the top fuel hoops, which I believe I know why it was doing it. And we'll be finding that out here pretty quick. Hopefully not at Idaho the hard way. Since we're fishing road to Idaho. Mm -mm. Everybody's probably wondering why the hell we didn't show up at Thunder Valley, but by the time we went to load the car, it fell out of the sky here. And they were just about to have the driver's meeting and I didn't have time to catch to, to get there for the driver's meeting. Mm -hmm. So, which I guess Mike said about 10 o'clock, it did fall out of the sky. Seems like when we need to test this car, Mother, say, Mother Nature says no. Every time, every time. When we're at home and need to test, she says, uh-uh. I know, I don't get it. I didn't know if you were following if you had noticed that pattern or not. Oh, yes, but. I've noticed that pattern. Yes, I've noticed that pattern. So, this is a kind of a, a new old combination. It's still the 585, but I pulled the 14 and a half degree Sunny's head, or I take that back. Scotty says, I wish you'd do, do it yourself. <laughs> Scott Duggins, I called Scott and said, hey, let's just put headhunters on it. This way, that's why I got this intake from Ryan Martin. And that was the one thing that was holding me up from going to Headhunters. The 14 half degree sunny head is a badass head, but Scott Duggan so, does so many of this combination with Headhunters. Pistons are on the shelf, rods are on the shelf. I mean, he keeps everything in stock. So instead of us having to wait on pistons and rods and, and all the stuff like we keep having to do, I just told Scott he'd switch it over and then take the other motor and he's gonna take some of the you got to take the worst of my parts, which are still good parts, but the stuff that's been beat on a little little harder, this thing's brand new. Remember how I named that tune-up last fucking time? Mm-hmm. And one more time. This is last fucking time. <laughs> so I really don't know if my heart can handle doing much more of this. I know. But good for you for building an off-the-shelf motor. Hmm? Good for you for building an off-the-shelf motor. Listen, Scott motor. Duggins, I don't need it. Oh, I didn't know you guys had already had this conversation. Oh, we've had this discussion once or twice. I was just being my charming funny self. Oh, which he's also said, you know, you got everything, I understand. I got like three sets of those Sunday's heads. Oop. I don't know about Chris's uh, <clears throat> toe deal. What is that? That's the toe deal. Pull it up in the, to pull it up into the trailer. Hmm. That's a deal it's going to take. Let's see how many shins are going to get taken out with that deal. Well, just about flip me over backwards. Yeah. Which would have made a hell of a YouTube video. So, I have to uh, have to run a couple lines out. My brother got the motor in. I got to run a couple fuel lines or a couple vacuum lines. Um, go over everything. Put all the fluids in it. We are uh, taking the, the the red wrap that I sprayed black, taking it off there, seeing what come up with. If I'm just gonna put it in flat black primer for now. Rick did say he'd get that thing fitted. He's got two or three people that can do it. So we can get the real wrap put on the car. Awesome. Yeah. I'd like to do that, especially before North Carolina. Oh, God, yeah. Definitely before then. Since that's where he's from. Yeah. That's where Cade's from. Yeah. So <clears throat> the, the the wrap that Cade Varder did is going on this car. We just haven't had the time with everything else going on. So um, what else? We got a brand new tranny. Brand new motor. Hopefully, everything goes to plan. Yeah. If everything goes to plan, it'll haul ass and not break. Yep. Yeah. Your truck's gonna be thick, so we won't look like Sanford Sun rolling. I kind of like my red camper shell, to be honest with you. I'm not talking about the red. Well, the red camper shell is just the cherry on top of the blown out fender. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but my suicidal deer. Yeah, your suicidal deer. We're gonna get rid of the remnants of him. Oh, that's okay. And. 
I'm gonna get the trailer put together properly today. You're gonna get your car put together properly today. And then Monday and Tuesday, we're just gonna relax. <laughs> oh, this girl's got jokes. Uh huh. Got one, jokes. I know. There's one guy watching this video. When you hear that, don't fall out of your chair. Which one? You know which one. No, I don't. There's, there's more than one that, that's gonna fall out of the chair. They hear that. Oh. Well, the, the one that's been in this camp and knows how shit goes around here. Like I said, which one are you talking about? You talking about Kyle Kirker? You talking about Derek? Derek. I mean, come on. Derek. The list is the, the list is long and distinguished to the people that had to deal with my love. Derek. I, I still told Scotty I said, you ready to quit yet? Because when I first met Scott Duggins, he was fixing the motor in the in the uh, these nuts car for me, and I told him I said just just. Go ahead. Brandy's distracting me. Oh, we're spinning the tire. I know, that's why I keep So, so I, I told Scott right off the bat, I said, listen, dude, if shit happens to me, it doesn't happen to nobody else. I break parts that they say nobody else breaks. He said, oh, I think we'll be all right. So every time something happens to this, like this thing pushing the top fuel hoops out, that that's just, that's insanity for it to do that. So... Once again, I told him, Scott, ready to walk away? He goes, no, just don't break it. I'm going to make it eight and a half to one compression. <laughs> so, I think we're ready to roll. Sounds good to me. I got to do, got to hook two lines up, get the wrap peeled off of it, fix the quarter back there where his tire's shaking. Did you see that? No. Well, I saw it through the wrap the other day, but I haven't seen it like these guys are shaking and making up. Ooh. Mm hmm. Tire shake is brutal. Tire shake is nasty. Oh, I'll, hey. Listen, my tubs, I'm so proud that I had so sealed up. Uh -huh. All broke loose. So we gotta reseal all the tubs. So this will be an all day, all night tonight. And. I got this plan. What's that? If the weather breaks, go try to shake it down at Thunder Valley tomorrow. Yeah. Weather permitting. It always rains when I need to test this car. It does. Always. Every time. It does. Well, if not, we'll roll into Idaho like we have the last two races. Hot. And like we know what we're doing. Yeah. Hey, what'd you think of the spoiler Chris built? Did you call a glass stack to see? Oh, that's cool. He said, I got to looking at drill spoiler on his 69, and that's kind of what they look like. Mm-hmm. Well, it's probably a better deal, really. We got Rodney. Uh, oh, do are we? Are oh, we're we... getting our signature back on there. Oh, good. I'm getting the signature back on there. There you go. And then we'll trim this around it. Yeah. So, uh, everybody's updated. That's where we're at. Yep. Got a brand new front clip. Thanks to my... My boy's a my boy at Glass Tech. It's all, hey, did you see that? We carbon fibered everything in this time. Well, there we go. That ought to help. Because I swear we're harder, just as hard loading and unloading on this car than we are racing it. That trailer beats them up way more than it racing does. it. It does. It does. But that's kind of the plan now. I'm going to take the spoiler off. Got to get all the weight out of the car because we went back to a 136. I really don't think I need a 140 to be competitive. I really, really don't. Because this thing went 390s with a 136 and we weren't leaning on it. Mm -hmm. And now, I think I got a, uh, I've got a very, very good idea of why it, why it was doing what it's doing and how to fix it. And the fix will actually make the car faster. Oh, didn't say anything about, think I had a way to say that? About who's coming to help? Okay. All right. In, in a later edition of this, uh, somebody I've known since 2012 at Drag Week, and I always thought he was way too busy to be able to come help, but I'll let you guys know who that is. Uh, maybe when we go to test it. Maybe. But I'm very, very excited about him coming to help me. What else you got? Um... Nothing really, just a few more days before we're back on the last half of a brutal 
MPK schedule, um, for those of you who haven't heard yet, we've added one more date between North Carolina. No, we did not. No, no, we wouldn't have. <laughs> We but we, we did. We, I mean, we had to have that. We had to have that episode. Yeah. And and I, I, I my hats off to uh, Pilgrim Studios and Discovery and everybody for not for not filming Tulsa to uh, out of respect out of respect for Mike. for Mike. And I thought that was huge because mm -hmm. usually in the TV world, guys, nothing stop. The show must go on. It doesn't stop. And I promise you, if Mike would have been there, Mike would have wanted to keep going. But like I said, you know, Sam, Jen, everybody, they, they made a, they made a, and it didn't take them no time to come up with that. I'm not gonna film it, just gonna have a race, so mm -hmm. I, I don't have no problem with that added race. No, no, it's great. It's gonna be in Steele, Alabama, at Alabama International Raceway, I believe is the name of the track. Where is it? I've never heard of it. I think it's in Southern Alabama. We've actually talked to the, we've, Talk to those people back in the day. Oh yeah, so I am familiar with that track. There's not no problem. No, Kay. no. Because that's Cause, a problem. Because that name is. <laughs> oh, I forgot. For itself. <laughs> I, I, I forgot. I forgot about that. Yeah. Nothing to do with the racetrack, guys. No. But that's funny shit. <laughs> All right. I gotta get to work, Stacy. I gotta figure out if I'm gonna try to. If I'm going to try to just put this thing in flat black primer, Rick's going to see if he can get some carbon red So because I don't think we have enough. Mm -hmm. Unless I did like the hood carbon fiber and then the rest of the car red. Maybe. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. I, I like carbon fiber. Hey, he told me that carbon fiber material that I got that's so badass. He said, that's from Italy. He said, dude, nobody can get that anymore. Oh. He said, it's been like two years out. Wow. Hey, y'all yeah. yeah, probably got enough to wrap this car around. No, I'm not wasting my carbon fiber wrap. No. I got a badass wrap that's going on this car. Yeah, but the hood would look, I mean, the hood would look cool. Yeah, that yeah, would. If we could do the rest of it in red. Yeah. You don't yeah, even run cool. it with the hood anyway. Huh? I will run it with the hood. Oh. Okay. I wasn't running it with the hood because it had the front end all jacked up. Oh, okay. Remember? 37 Zeus fasteners get it on because yeah. ding dong Eric put... 900 motherfucking Zeus fasteners in the hood, so it took fucking three days to take the hood off of it. Whew. And you know what? Hey, I gotta get all this weight out of here that we put in when we're doing the 140. Yep, because we don't need all that. Nope. Put her back on the scales and see. All right. Wow, there's weight everywhere. How much do we have to put? Oh, we had to put 100 pounds in it, didn't we? Yeah, just a hair. Yeah. There's a chunk in the back. Yeah. All right. You got this video so I can get to work? Yep, wrap it up, wrap it up. I got the hip hop down the road. Ow.